Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're looking at the PowerVolt TL4000 by Dell. This is one of the newer models uh, and it has some LTO7 drives, which we're gonna look at here. So some brand new LTO7 drives for your tape libraries, along with the LTO7 tape. So this is a cleaning media and the LTO7 model as well. So this is pretty much the same as the previous models. Um, they do have some extra features on the back and extra functionality, and it actually lets you run LTO7, which is fantastic. So LTO7 has a huge capacity compared to the previous LTO6s and LTO5s even before that. So much like before, these are LTO7 tapes. These are actually Dell brand, but of course there are other brands available as well. So you've got six terabytes native and 15 terabytes compressed. And the tapes themselves look pretty much the same as the previous models. So the back of the unit, we've got some dual power supplies there for redundancy. And then you've got slots for up to four drives. And then you've also got your management cables, uh, management ports there and USB as well if you need to access it. Very easy to unremove. You've got screws which can be undone with your fingers and to insert more drives in there as well, which is very, very straightforward. You also get the relevant rails with the library, which are adjustable. So the rails go forward and back depending on the length and depth of your comms cabinet. And in our case, we've got a couple of fiber channels, cables, uh, because the drives themselves are fiber channel, as you can see. So this is an LTO7, eight gigabit, fiber channel tape drive, LTO7. Obviously you've got your cables plugging into here as well. So to install a drive, it's just as easy as just putting it in the slot and sliding it in until it clicks in place. Then go ahead and actually turn the screws to actually lock it, okay? And you do that on both ends there. So it's very simple, very simple and straightforward to install a drive onto an LTO7. So then likewise, I would unscrew this top one and actually install my second LTO7 drive with a total of four drives available in this TL4000 unit. So then both drives will be installed nice and easy. They've both been screwed on either end. And then the next step would then be to cable your fiber channel. So this is, I said, fiber channel eight. So we remove the plugs on the front get ourselves the fiber cable and plug that in. All right, so then likewise, you would run the other end either directly into a server with a fiber channel card, or you would go via a fiber channel switch and set up all your zoning accordingly. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.